Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of Mission Control in OS X Lion. Now, Mission Control unifies spaces as well as expose into one kind of conglomerate feature, if you want to call it. And there's a lot of new stuff with it. And with that new stuff, there's also a lot of changes. So I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of those changes. And if you're missing some things or if you weren't really happy with the changes in Mission Control, I'm going to show you how you can tweak it so that maybe you'll like it more. So first of all, if you're not familiar, there's a couple different ways to access it. Um, if it's in your dock, you could obviously click on it there or an applications folder. Um, and as you might know on the trackpads that Apple has, if you swipe with three fingers, you can get to Mission Control. But what, what you might not know is that if you have a magic mouse, you can also easily access Mission Control uh, by double tapping on the surface with two fingers just like so and you can see I'm in mission control and this is a really handy way to get to it rather than going into a folder or clicking on something it's just a quick gesture now there's also a lot of different settings with mission control so if you go into system preferences and mission control you can do a lot of different things and you may find it to your benefit to change a couple of these things around so by default when you go to dashboard now online it looks just like this and it's its own separate space uh, but if you like the way it was in Snow Leopard, you can untick this box that says Show Dashboard as a Space. And now when you access Dashboard, it'll come down just like it used to. So you can do that as well. And when you go into Mission Control, you won't see Dashboard as a space anymore. And you can also rearrange spaces based on most recent use. Uh, so this can be handy if you're recently using something your spaces automatically be arranged so you can get back to what you're working on quicker. And then you can also have an option where you can switch to a space with open windows for an application when you switch to it. And then of course you can customize your keyboard shortcuts. What I really like is hot corners and you can see I have two hot corners set up here and you can set up different hot corners for every corner of your screen and right now for me the bottom right hand corner is mission control so basically what that means is when I have that set up when I drag my mouse into the bottom right corner mission control will pop open now if you're looking around in the mission control preferences trying to add spaces to mission control like you used to be able to do in spaces uh, it's different and you actually do it right within mission control so you can see all my spaces and my dashboard here now if I bring my mouse over to the right, you can see the little plus button pop up. And if I click that, it'll add a new space. So that's pretty neat. And I can add up to 16 desktop spaces. And if you have all these spaces open and you don't want them anymore, you can hover your mouse over them and a little X will appear and you can delete your spaces right from there. Now another thing that Apple changed around with Mission Control is the way that desktop wallpapers apply to spaces. Now I've heard about a lot of people who find this annoying. Um, personally, I don't really care, uh, but it's just a new thing they added where if you set your wallpaper for a certain space, when you go back out, your other desktops don't have that, that wallpaper applied to them. Now this isn't a bug or anything. Uh, it's the way Apple intended it, and it's the kind of move you from workflow to workflow like you have one thing open here and you have one thing open here and each desktop is its own space so I can set of course maybe I want this one to be gray and you can see that each desktop has its own space now, I prefer all of them to have the same space so I usually leave it the same uh, but of course you could change it and you might prefer it that way now two other gestures I want to show you if you have a whole bunch of windows open here and they're all sitting open, taking up space. And you go to Mission Control, uh, you can see how they all look. And that's a pretty normal thing. And of course, if you have multiple windows open for the same thing, like in Safari, for example, and you go back out to Mission Control, you can see them all. But let's say I don't want to have to go out to Mission Control to see all my windows like this. In, in Snow Leopard, you had the option where when you hold down on the app's tile, you could see all the open windows. Now when you hold down an app style you can click show all windows 
and it'll do the same thing. Uh, but if you want the easy access like Snow Leopard had, there's a gesture you can do. And for me on the Magic Mouse, it is double tapping with two fingers, just like I would access Mission Control. But I do it one at my mouse cursor is hovering over the application icon. So you use the same Mission Control gesture, but for a specific application. And you can see the windows just for that application. And then of course, for me on the Magic Mouse, I can swipe with two fingers through all my spaces and see all my desktops. And you can do the same on the trackpad, but with a three finger gesture. So those are some ways that you can maximize your use of Mission Control. And if you thought there were some features missing, or perhaps you didn't like it as much, I hope this cleared up some things for you. If you have any other Mission Control tips, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if there's anything that you want to know how to do, uh, either in Mac OS X or iOS, send me an email and I'll try to do a video how-to on it as soon as I can. So I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.